Roll. All right, we're here today uh, in West Boca Raton, Florida, and we're going to teach you guys how to mix by hand uh, this epoxy resin floor. Uh, so what we're doing right now is Jimmy's opening up the A's, and I have the B here, so it's two parts A, one part B. And you get a five-gallon pail, and then you want to get a uh, large paddle stick here. So you want to be able to get yourself a five-gallon pail and get a large paddle stick. You can get these at Home Depot or Lowe's or any paint store should offer this as a uh, stir stick, okay? So right now Jimmy's pouring the A's. And with this epoxy, and you want to check who's ever epoxy you're installing, uh, normally has different types of pot lifetimes and working time on the surface. This is a regular, uh, a regular epoxy. It's a three gallon kit from Extreme Polishing Systems. It's their ECTR. This has a 20 minute pot life and has 40 minutes of working time on the floor. Pot life means after you've stirred it up, you can have it sit in that container for no more than 20 minutes. So he's doing that. We're gonna mix these up right away also. We have about 650 square feet here, and we're going to be applying roughly 100 square feet per gallon. Everybody always tries to call me while we're in the middle of doing a, a video shoot. Let's see who this person is, huh? They're calling from Oklahoma. So we. Uh, the nice thing is you can do this pretty much in all climates. Um, except it does not perform well when the substrate gets under 55 degrees. So you want to have your substrate be at least 55 degrees. And you don't want to do it in too much humidity. Epoxy's worst enemies are basically moisture and dirt. So you want to make sure your substrate that you're doing or your coating that you're doing is clean. It's always good after you've done the floor that you take a xylene and do a, a wash of the floor. Um, or you can wash it with a microfiber and, and light water, just a damp, a damp thing. But you got to make sure it's completely dry when you go to put the materials down. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our B. Here's the other A right here. You want to make sure you get the B's in with the A's because otherwise it won't harden. And we've had people drop epoxies before and say, hey, this floor never hardened. They went back there to, uh, to see what the problem was, and the mixer had all the B's set to the side in a closet. So we just poured the A's into the buckets. They poured the, the, the material on the floor, and they thought that it was going to cure, and of course it didn't. So we're going to pour this one. This is a B. Jimmy's over here. He's going to stir this between two and three minutes, always remembering to scrape the sides of the bucket and the bottom of the bucket when you're stirring. Yeah, I'm going to drop this one and two at the same time. Somewhere between two and three minutes. If it's hotter out, you don't have to do it as much because it's going to activate faster. The colder it is, you could be you know, closer to three minutes or even a little bit over when you're hand stirring. Now you can use a slow paddle mix also. We're just big fans of stirring by hand. You really get a good feel for the bucket, scraping the bottom of it, scraping the sides of it. If you guys like these videos, make sure you uh, subscribe. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Like our Instagram. Everything's on the bottom. If you need to talk to somebody, dial the 800 number that you see. 
and we'll be more than happy to help you out. It's very easy to do this. You can do countertops with this material, floors like you see here. You can do flake garage floors with this material. Well, Jimmy's already got his done. <laughs>